TB back here at TB's cabin, just getting ready to have some turkey gravy for supper. Talking about the electric or the uh, smart chips in these computers and on these uh, new model cars and stuff that they're so proud of. If we would ever have a smart bomb, they say go off in America, uh, something like that would knock the chip out and you wouldn't be able to go nowhere. Which I already know that some of the law enforcement have a way of uh, damaging your chip when you're going down the road if you're speeding in an area. They won't tell you that, but have you ever noticed when you pass by uh, in a town where you might be going maybe five or ten mile an hour, happen to be over the speed limit, and your car goes to jerking or cutting out and you think it's a fuel? It ain't really. It's the sometimes, sometimes it is, sometimes it ain't. Let me rephrase that. But they've got a way, I've been told by professionals, that they can uh, short your circuit out enough to cause your car to, to uh, cut out on you when you're going down the road. And if they hit it enough times like that, it'll burn that chip out of your car on your, for your computer. And then you have to have that fixed, and that costs you thousands of dollars. I've been told that crap. Now, uh, actually knowing for sure, uh, don't quote me on it because I don't know for sure, but I've been told that they do that, and I've noticed that times when that's happened to me. That's why I think about it. No one for sure, though, I don't know. But that's what I've been told, that they can actually uh, cut your car out and cause that chip in your car to cut out by some type of remote control they have uh, over the electronic system of your car. And now when they sell you a new car, they got a tracking device on that car that goes right on your uh, starter drive, somehow or another, I've been, which they got it on mine too. And if I'm 10 days over my payment, they will shut it off. Now, they uh, can pretty much pinpoint and tell right where that vehicle is at all times. Uh, most likely, They've been, I've been told they can. Now, in the old days, if people didn't want to pay for the trucks, they'd steal them and take them down in the bottom somewhere and burn the darn truck up. I've been told that, the, you know, some of them wanted to get out of the bill and stuff. And uh, the insurance would pay the truck off because it's been reported stolen, actually. But they took the parts and they sell the parts off to other people for use. That's what they do with them. Sometimes that goes on in America, we know. <laughs> but it don't go on with me, but I have actually uh, heard of such things going on. In fact, they, right next to some friends of mine, named C.P. Cisco and his wife, when they lived in Sequoia, Oklahoma, uh, they had a little cop, a little chop shop shop going on out back of their place, but it wasn't them doing it, it was neighbors doing it. Of course, the law caught up to them and done something about it. Boy, it's smelling good. Well, I'm going to shut down for now and uh, eat my supper, and I'll get back to you later. Thanks for tuning in with TV. Uh, have a good evening. Bye-bye.